What's the first movie you remember seeing, and how old were you? The first, that's a great question. I didn't know it was going to be this kind of question. I was eight years old, and I saw The Wizard of Oz, and uh, more importantly, there was a short before it called The Red Balloon, and that probably stayed with me about as much or even more than The Wizard of Oz. Who would win in a fight, Sherlock Holmes or Watson? Wow. Uh, what kind of fight? Physical fight? Uh, I would have to say Sherlock Holmes. I mean, he's a master. He's, he's, you know, as you've seen, if you've seen the show and you've seen the episodes, even the ones we've been shooting lately that haven't gone away yet, he's, uh, he's got a lot of experience and a lot of things. So Joan's pretty amazing, but she is his, uh, you know, he trained her. So I, I'd have to believe Sherlock would, would, would beat Peter. Since you're part of a large shorts film festival in Australia, can you say what's the key to a really good short film? The key to a really good short film is something that is short, um, and I don't even—I'm not even kidding about that. I think, um, you know, being brief and, and telling a story in as economical way as possible. Um, great acting I mean it's a lot of the same things that make a great feature film great acting a good idea a good story great visuals so I don't know if there's any sort of golden build to a short film but I will say um, something unique and that grabs someone's attention in the three or five or ten minutes that you have is, is very key Sherlock Holmes is everywhere what's the one thing that helps make this version unique well I think um, what makes it unique obviously being in New York being an updated uh, version of it, the performances of our exceptional cast, starting with Johnny and with Lucy, and obviously now Ophelia for this season, um, and the incredible writing of Rob Doherty and his team. I mean, these guys have managed to sort of, you know, obviously be where, read the original stories and take some of the um, great inspiration from those and translate that into great episodes that set in New York City. Uh, in, in modern times, so I think uh, I'm incredibly proud of the show and I think it's for all of those reasons. I think it's a combination of the really great kind of sticky stories almost that Rob tells that always have something about them that want to make you keep watching, something incredibly clever um, and the layer he puts above that uh, of these great characters, you know, basically you know, Sherlock and, and John. Um, and then what Johnny and Lucy bring to the table as well. I mean, Rob gives them great, and Rob and his writers give them great things to play, uh, and then they come above and beyond even what's on the page and give us this magic on screen. You seem to have walked away from acting. Would you ever get back in front of the camera, or is that an impossible mission? <laughs> That's a trick question. Um, I, you know, I, I never say never. I, I haven't, I haven't really got the time at the moment, frankly. But um, uh, I would, you know, I, I would do it for the right role, and if I had the time, um, I, I love acting. I also think acting is a part of my history that's really helped me in my current job because a lot of it is about the actors and understanding what the challenges and issues are with that. So I, I wouldn't say no, but it's not on my the top of my list of things to do right now. As much as I respect people who could do it, and frankly, if I thought I could do it like these guys, I'd probably do it. I was, I was fine, but I, I wasn't at that level. Yeah.